Where the hell do you think you're going to, you little witch? Have you finished the work I told you to do? Oh, I'm, I'm tired and thirsty. Tired and thirsty. Have you finished the work I told you to do? Huh? And you're tired and thirsty. There's no rest for the wicked now. No rest. Finish this work. And mind you, I don't want to see you home until all this is being done. Did you hear me? Oh yeah, get to work. Mother, please. I am not your mother and you know very well that I am not. Get to work. How many times have I warned you not to be using anything that belongs to me in this house? Kathy, how many times have I warned you not to use anything that belongs to me? How many times? You're the one looking for my trouble. Oh. Tell that bastard Henry eh, to buy you a new pot and new plates. Mm? Stop using anything that belongs to me, Katy. I will not tell you again. Next time, eh, I will pour it on you. You will see. What did you do to her? I didn't do anything. And she just paid away her food. Well, it's okay. See you. Just manage, pack it up, and maybe see if you can get anything that you can eat from it. Just manage, eh? Even if it's not enough, just eat and be okay. Well, don't worry about me. Uh, I'll be fine. Okay? Is that what you have to say? Eh? What do you want me to say? No, what do you want me to say? You don't like peaceful coexistence. What do you want me to say? Eh? So let, let us start making trouble, right? Henry! Henry! You said somebody has. So, so, you try to understand. So, you know that the brain, they touch, they get partial contact for brain. You understand? Huh? Just manage, eh? You do have a spark. Don't shout my name again. Eh? Don't shout my name again. Let, if, let this just die down. Die down peacefully like this. Like nothing's happening. Let us. Mm, ah. Prepare this one first, yeah. you know, so that I can give you food and uh, you know you'll be filled up to the brain mm -hmm. before they bring that uh, that thing they call <laughs> the food, you know. Ah, no, 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 no. Today I'm eating your own food first. You know, get filled. 
So by the time they bring whatever it is, they are preparing the rap potty, they are cooking there. <laughs> It's over the bow. Oh, <laughs> oh, eat my husband. Eat and have life. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> That's good. Oh. <laughs> Even the appearance of the food shows it's going to be tested. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh. Hey. I have always said it that you are the best cook I have ever met in my life. Hmm? We know. The problem is that sometimes I go and eat that nonsense that they cook. Hmm. By the time you bring your own, I am full. Hmm. But today, it's not working. As if you don't have running stomach. <laughs> hey. Eat. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I eat my profession. You want to do that one? Yeah, you do. It's so. It's a. It's. Mmm. It's. Mmm. 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 Uh, can you tell me more about uh, Jane, your father's first wife? Jane is my father's first wife. She is very wicked and heartless. She sometimes behaves as one who is possessed with demons. She makes my mother go through things that she knows nothing about. And I hate her so much for her attitude. I hate her so much. My stepbrother was a big blow to all of us. It really affected us. <laughs> I still miss him.
This witch here is also my wife. And your opinion I will not respect. So shut up! Husband, it's okay. Just calm down. Eh? So you won't have high blood pressure. Calm down. As a matter of fact, my husband is right. Yes. I am the first wife in this family. And I have not interfered in any tragedy at all. Especially this one. So, I don't know. The shot, my husband is okay. Let's go. I don't want you to get angry again, eh? Let's go. Can you tell me more about your mother? My mother. <laughs> My mother is the most beautiful woman in this world. She gave me good home training. She taught me how to be strong and courageous as a lady. She's the best woman I've ever known in this world. Mutinta. Yes, Mom. You know you are the eldest daughter to Mambo. Yeah. Hmm? Always know that you come from a complicated family. This is the time for you to learn life problems. Okay? Okay, Mom. Your mother, eh? So if I send you on an errand, you will not do it. Eh? Okay. It's okay. Jen, let go of my daughter. She'll eat cooked as they are, they'll sweep. And they'll cook for my husband and myself. Are you okay? Okay. You. 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 Okay. Don't worry. Because you've seen your mother, I will now tell you to do something you will not do. <laughs> if it's to eat, you people will know how to eat. You will know how to finish one big bowl of cassava. Ordinary work, you cannot do it. Just to sweep this compound is now a big, big, big problem for you. They put something they cannot do it. Why am I even talking like this? Why am I even talking like this? Mutinta! In short, eh? If you like, enter your mother's room today. You must sweep this cup out. Mutinta! Mutinta! Henry, I want to talk to you. Am I not talking to you? Are you there for something? What's your problem? No, oh, Jane, what is your problem? Why, why, what's, what's wrong with you? Why can't you allow me some peace of mind? Eh? Can't you allow me to think? Can't you see I'm just trying to think here? Why are you always childish? Me? Childish? Uh -huh. no. Me, Henry. Childish. No, me. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. 
Let me... Is that small rat that you call your daughter that you left for me in this house? That's, that, that's the girl that I blame. Can you imagine that she finished all the food in this house and left me hungry? When I went there to, 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 to confront her, all she could tell me is I should go and, talk, I should go and tell my, my useless truck driver of a husband to go and buy me food. Yes! What? Yes! It's you that I blame. Because you've been giving them the hand to insult me in this house. It's you. Uh, and you're there calling me childish. You tell me now who, 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 who is childish. Wait, Malambo called me useless truck driver, my own daughter. Ah. Eh? So it has gotten to this. No, it has degenerated to this, right? Eh? Don't worry. So, Jenny, calm down, okay? You see this? I am going to sort it out once and for all. Tackle game. You better sort it out, though. You better sort it out. Because when I break somebody's head in this compound, they, they, they'll start calling my name. Hey, Jen. Jen did that. Oh, Jen did this. Better warn them, oh. Warn them. No, if it's about break, break her head, break it into pieces. In fact, that's if you have some space to break, oh. Because if I see her, I will cut that head into two. Oh, yes. What kind of nonsense? Can you, can you imagine? Eh? Me, useless truck driver. Where is that Malambo? Where is that girl? I don't know. That's one devil. Ma where is she? That's why I know. Michilo, where is your daughter? So you're the one instigating her to insult me as well as insult my wife, right? Where is she? Because I'm going to kill her today. My husband. What does she do? Shut up, you're my husband. Ask that question. How dare you? Where is she? How dare you? You slap me. And I'll slap you again and again and again. What nonsense? Go and bring her back. Go. Bring her back. What kind of nonsense is this? How? My own daughter! Call me useless truck driver! I will kill you today, Malambo! I will kill you today! Let her go and come back. I'm, I'm waiting for her today. I am waiting for her. And I'm warning you to stay away from my children and die, or else you'll see no peace. Look at this, look at this one. Where did this mad dog spring out from? Eh? Look at this useless woman. How dare you come out to warn me on things that don't bother or matter to me? This useless woman. I'm warning you, I'm not the kind of fire you would want to play with. Oh. Stay away from me. I'm warning you. I don't suffer with fools. Stay away from me or you would get my problems. You will get my trouble in this house. Hey. I swear, God will punish you. Eh? Mm -hmm. Me? Yes. God. If it's you, God will punish you. You and your ancestors. All your villagers. It is you and you, you and your ancestors. You will God see. will punish you. Devil. Harry, you are the one I'm blaming. You will bring all these mad dogs into this house. And they will all come here to challenge me. Eh? Henry. Okay. Okay. You see what you've cost, eh? You see it! Eh?
What's wrong with you, mother? I knew there was something wrong. Because before I could answer my younger sister, my mother felt so badly. My daughter, I am not well. I need to go back to my village or else. I feel something bad is going to happen. We need to give ourselves to her. I will work with you all my life, Richard. Because you are all my pride. Why are you seated here, so cold and crying with my children? I want a divorce, Henry. I see there is no reason of going on in this marriage. When there is nothing working up... You have no right to leave me! You are my wife till death do us part. I want to go. I want to go with my children. You are simply lying to yourself and deceiving yourself. You are joking. I want to go with my children because they are the most important in my life. And uh, how did your mother feel when she was leaving you behind? My mother felt bad. She felt terrible. She was scared of leaving us behind for Jane. That snake of a woman. My mother knew she would maltreat us. She was scared. Now listen to me. None of you is going anywhere. Am I clear? And I'm not granting you any divorce. Get lost, Henry. Just let me go with my children. You know you can't take care of them. Fine! You can go, but not with my children. I will stay with my kids. I will go with my children. You will remain with your other wives and your children. How dare you talk to me like that? How? How dare you? Let go, Papa! How dare you? How dare let go? Hey, shut up! If any of you dare comes closer to me, I will forget you're my children and I will kill you! Go with this and this. But as for Malambo, she's going nowhere because she's my first child. Fine. If that's what you want, I'll go with you. Want to go with Shut mother. up and don't you dare argue with me. Mother! Mother! What's in there? Oh, shut up! Sit down. It was one of the saddest moments of my life because I couldn't believe my mother was leaving me behind in the hands of my father. <laughs>
So, how was life after your mother left? Life with my father, his wife, and my other siblings was hell. It was a living hell. Mother doesn't even love you. I swear, the prayer looks good to be fed for. I will enjoy your company, my stepdaughter. Hmm? Cry more. Don't stop there. Cry. Do you think you're going to, you little witch? Have you finished the work I told you to do? Oh, I'm, I'm tired and thirsty. Tired and thirsty. Have you finished the work I told you to do? Huh? And you're tired and thirsty. There's no rest for the wicked now. No rest. Finish this work. And mind you, I don't want to see you home until all this is being done. Did you hear me? Oh yeah, get to work. Mother, please. I am not your mother and you know very well that I am not. Get to work. Mother, please. Where, sister? Where is that your husband? Where is that stupid husband of yours and that witch that he calls a wife? Where are they? Moss, what is it? Eh? Stop this thing you are doing, now. You will put me in big trouble. Eh? Yes. Do, do you know what? Tell him to come out now before I lose my temper. Hey. Moss, please. Let me tell you, your trouble started the day you decided to 
disobey our parents and follow that man. I don't even know the kind of sugar he put in his mouth hook that immediately he gave it to you. You left everybody and followed him. Hmm. Eh? Bring your voice down. Bring your voice down though. You will, you will put me in trouble. I don't want Harry's trouble. Uh, don't worry, I want his trouble. They should hear my voice and come out. This is making noise. Uh, it's Mozu. You are not seeing me. <laughs> Which? I've come for two of you. You and your husband. Wonderful. That complete. Look at you. Mr. Harry. With all this your height and muzzle, like an overgrown ostrich, instead of you to be fighting real men like me, eh? you're busy bullying women. Look at my sister, look at what you've done to her. Eh? You are looking at me. Do you know I can kill you here and nothing will happen? Do you know? Who told you that? <laughs> Mr. Harry, please. Have you ever wondered why they call me muzzle? Hey. I'm wondering, because what I see before me here is a skeleton. <laughs> okay, now you will know that skeletons have muzzle. Because today, I will beat you like a baby. And when I finish beating you, you will run to your mother and begging and crying for help. Muzzle! Hey, hey, you don't know. Hey, you, you don't. My husband. Oh, 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 I've never been talking. Can you imagine? Yeah. Eh? You've been making noise here. Like, like a metal gong. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Please. Cut. Hmm? Won't this scarecrow be a, 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 a skeleton you call a brother? If I ever see him in this compound again, I will tear him into pieces. Mother. Help me. I'm home. Tired and very thirsty, mother. Mother, help me and my children. We have been working for three days. Please, mother. Go back to your husband's home. Go. I don't need you here. You didn't inform me you were coming. Go! Go, 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 go! Go! I said go! All of you, go back! Shut up! Did, 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 I, did I send you? Did I send you? Did I send you? Eh? Go, go! Please help me. I'm no longer married to him. I'm no longer his wife. I'm no longer married to Henry, mother. Go back to him. Let him bring you to your people. You can't just come like a criminal. No! Let him bring you. See? You are not welcome here. Okay, for the kids, take them back to their father. He's not dead, you see. Please help me, please help me. Shut up. Tell your mother to take you back to your father. Go. Please help me, please help me. Mother, we are tired. You married Henry out of my will. A polygamist. Hi. I'm still sad. I'm still sad. See. Go, 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 go. Go. Go back to your husband. Please. Go. 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 Mazo, hmm? you see that melodrama you just played out in my house? Hmm? Don't ever try it again. Don't ever try it. Do you know Harry could have killed you? And if he kills you, what do you think I should have done? Eh? Sister? Hey, sister, you have disappointed me. How? Hey. Do you know that now you are supposed to thank God and your husband Henry is supposed to go for Thanksgiving because it was the minute I wanted to give him the deadly blow that my epilepsy started and I took it. <laughs> Mazo, hmm? since when did you just start having epilepsy? Since when? Eh? Hi. Uh, uh, okay, I did not tell you. It was this morning, the thing just started. <laughs> I do not know it why it has been in my blood. Hi, hi, hi. 
Mazo, hmm? go home. And don't ever come to my house again unless you have something very serious to come to them. Have I made myself clear? Are you serious? Yes. Wait, 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 sister. That I came to beat the living daylight out of that your husband is not important. Go home. Just go home. I don't have anything to say to you. Go home. Mm. Mm. You should be grateful. Just go home. Man. And tell your husband that the next time I come, okay. eh, he should pray that my epilepsy does not attack me. If not, he's a dead man. You will be a widow. Hello, beautiful woman. Hi, handsome. Mm. You see, I've been away for a very long time. I don't even know we still have pretty women like this in our community. <laughs> oh, come on. That's a compliment. No, no, no. That is a fact. Oh. <laughs> stop. Stop. Don't try it. Though. Stop it. Eh? Don't try it at all. Wait, though. Are you playing or you are joking? Which one? Uh, Mosso, what is the meaning of this? Hey, hey, thank God you still remember me. You know, I thought that by the time you go to work on the ship as a sailor, that when you come back, this your third leg would have been tamed. But now I have realized that you even came back worse than you left. Just look at you. You have not even gotten to your house. You are already looking for a young woman to shift her waist. Will you stop this? Huh? You are trying to embarrass me. What is the meaning of this rubbish? I have not even started embarrassing you. You are already complaining. See, let me tell you something. Some of the girls, you shifted their waist before going to work. Many of them have not recovered. Some of them are still working like this. So, my dear, if you know what is good for you, Run for your dear life now. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll be on my way now. No, please wait. I I I want to. You see, you see what it cost. Welcome huh? back, you see what it cost? <laughs> My good friend, did you bring fish? Huh? May Tonda seal that your mouth that you want to eat fish with. Useless clown. I, I was only playing. I thought you should be dead by now. Me fish now. Zamina mina, eh eh, waka waka, eh eh, zamina mina zangari one. Ana mada da, malambo eh eh, mitilo eh eh, zamina mina zangari one. Mm 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 mm. How are you, my friend? Henry! My friend! You are you are here. I overheard you singing the old songs, Amina Amina. So I decided to sing along. Thank you very much. My good friend, mm -hmm. 
I just returned from voyage. I heard you have so many wives. Mm -hmm. I've decided to come and take one. No. You come and take all of them because you're the one that married them for me. For me. <laughs> you see? I am a proud husband of so many wives. And also a proud father of so many children. In fact, I am the Solomon of our generation. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed you are. <laughs> my husband. Oh, my lovely wife. The water is ready. Oh. Now refresh. Oh, thank you very much. Come back. <laughs> hey, huh? this is my wife. I mean, okay. my first wife. Hey. Her name is Jane. She's beautiful. <laughs> and this is Fred. Fred. Fred is my long time friend. He works in the ship. So just return from the voyage and then decide to come and say hi. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. You can, you can go now. Yeah? Okay. Go, uh, go. Henry, I did not mean it. You don't mean what? I'm just appreciating nature. Which nature? Is this nature? Is this nature? This is my wife, not nature. You want to appreciate nature, you go inside the bush. Go there and be looking at the trees and looking at the moon, star, everything. That is nature. Not uh, my wife. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway, that's right the way. <laughs> that's right the way. Zamina mina. Eh eh waka waka eh eh zamina mina zangalewa. Ayaka ah ah zamina mina. Eh eh waka waka eh eh zamina mina zangalewa. Ayaka ah ah zambo eh eh zambo eh eh zamina mina zangalewa. Ayaka ah ah zamina mina. Eh eh waka waka eh eh. Zamina mina zangalewa, ayaka a a. Zamina mina e e waka waka. Thank you. Just like I told you, here we are. This is my house. Yes. Um. I'm a sailor, and I work in the ship. Uh, I've not been with any woman for a very long time now. I just came back and. I've been looking for a good girl, a good woman I can just love. <laughs> Someone special just like you. <laughs> yes. Hope you are not deceiving me. No. Deceiving you? Me? I'm very, very serious. Look, see. Let's just go inside. Let me show you something sugary. <laughs> you like it. <laughs> if I just put it inside. <laughs> Hello, beautiful woman. Hi, handsome. How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, you see, I've been here, sitting down, waiting and praying, hoping that you walk by. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, what's your name? Victoria. Victoria. I like that. You see, Victoria, um, since the day I came back and I saw you, I've been thinking and dreaming about you. Uh, Victoria, you know, I've not been with a woman for a very long time because um, I'm looking for a woman that I will love just the way I love you. Oh, come on. Spare me that gospel and save it for another woman who needs it. Gospel? Yeah. I don't have time for love. Listen, my friend. If you want this or you want this, you just pay some money and they'll be all yours. Just money? <laughs> just money? <laughs> <laughs> You're all mine now. <laughs> I'll pay for everything. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> 
pal. Just money. anything to say to you but I have one thing to say to you Victoria so finally you have become a prostitute eh? Ay, wonderful wonderful you have tried after I warned you that what this young man is carrying in between his legs are as big as the sheep he walks in you still want to come and test and see no problem Go inside, a trial will convince you. I will stay here and be listening to you when you'll be shouting for help. Monsu or whatsoever you call yourself, will you leave my compound before I descend on you with furious anger? Just get out! Will you leave? Stop, eh? stop moving now, stop moving. I will go. Two of you want me to leave, right? Get so, out! No problem, I will go. Let me go and tell the villagers that we now have a new prostitute in Victoria. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going. Just shut up your mouth. They do it now, See, Fred, you really? Listen to me. Fred, Fred, listen to me. Hold on. Let's just no, go no, inside. No, no, There's me. no problem. Listen to me, listen to me. I know I charge money for sex, but I don't want this village clown announcing that to everybody. Let me go now. I'll come back and render the services which you already paid for. No, don't. Come now, let's do it together. Uh, I'll see you later. Monson. Mm -hmm. Monson. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So you decide to be a talk on my flesh, eh? I don't want you to move an inch from this spot. Did you hear me? Understood? I'm going into that place to ease myself. I don't want to look for you when I come out. Did you hear me?
Mampu! Mampu! Mambo, wake up! Sure okay. What is it now? Wake up now! Wake up, Mambo! 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 Mambo, wake up! 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 Doing in a lonely and dangerous place like this. I'm not scared. I've been waiting for my stepmom for an hour now. She'll be helping herself out in the bush. That bush? Where are you yourself? This one. Just you have to be very careful here. This mm. place is very, very dangerous. As you can see, it's lonely. Don't be very careful. Huh?
Good afternoon. How are you? What are you doing here all alone? I'm waiting for my stepmom. She's helping herself out in the bush. Oh, nice. As you can see, Malam, this area is very lonely and dangerous. Be careful, okay? Auntie, I will. doing this sleeping I asked you a question why are you sleeping out here mother you, you, you took so long so I fell asleep uh, you took so long so I fell asleep I told you to stand on this very spot but you will not listen stand on this very spot you will not hear you're there sleeping that's the way you'll be disgracing yourself every day eh? oh yeah come on move move Gary, let's go move What is it? I, 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 I found your wife and Fred as your friend in the bush making love now. I hate lies! Do you know I can take away your life because of this nonsense? That I know. I know. I know you are temperamental. But please. Temper justice with mercy. I, I, I was just passing on the road, and I saw your daughter Malambo lying on the ground. I tried knowing what the problem is. She told me that her stepmother went into the bush to ease herself, and I, and I decided to pass through Appian Way. I now saw, I now saw the two of them making love in the bush. Please, I cannot lie to you. I'm telling you the truth. Please don't kill me. Shut up!
don't kill me. Please, I beg you. He paid for the sex I gave him. Sex business is the only business I do in this village. Please, don't kill me, please. Sister, yeah. who are you talking to? You think you have your fast words with women, right? Eh? But today you're going to regret it for touching my wife. No, 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 no. Please, don't do anything stupid. It's not my fault. Please, I'm begging you. Spare my life. This please. is my wife. Please. 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 Please, I'm begging you. Please. She's my wife. Please. Please. Who is your wife? Please, that's not true. Just beg his life. Beg you. Please. I, I can be yours. You can make me your wife if you want. Whatever you want to do with me, I'm for you alone. As so long as you spare his life, please, I beg you. Please don't do this. Please. Victoria, pay for everything. Sparing you for one reason. If I dare hear this outside, I will destroy you and clear your entire generation. Go inside! Papa. If I see your face again, I'm going to kill, kill you with your promiscuous mother! Malambo, how could you? How could you do this to your father? No, father. I, I, I didn't do anything. She said that. She said what? Oh, my husband, my husband, please. You will hurt her. She's too young for this girl. Let her die! Let her die! She has me to her own father! Father, please, I'm your daughter. At least let me go and look for my mother. I can leave this village for good. My husband, please. Hey! Don't you dare untie her! Am I clear? I knew that Jane's infidelity would cost my life. Oh. Sorry. I'm sure my mother is dead. Because if she's still alive, she would have brought me out of that mess. Don't say that. Don't say that, my daughter. Your mother is still very much alive. Okay? She will come for you soon. Alright? Oh. Sorry. 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 Oh. Sorry. I don't want to eat anything. I want to die, Mom. I feel so meaningless. My loved ones are not here. Don't say that, okay? You have to eat. You need strength. 
You need strength, so you have to try and eat. You have to eat my daughter, please. Okay? It's hard for me to take it When she's hot and deep inside Every day she takes the risks Walking job that no one like Yeah, God, please help my mama She is all that I have got All she get was bruises, scars And this is breaking me No more tears and no more sorrows No more crying every night All alone she took the stand And this is breaking me I cried, Mama, Mama, it's gonna be alright. She said, My baby, it's gonna be alright. I cried, Mama, Mama, it's gonna be alright. She said, My baby, it's gonna be alright. Don't cry no more, it's gonna be alright. I won't cry no more. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. So she gets pain and sorrows. Always crying every night. All alone she took the stand. And this is breaking me. All she gets pain and sorrows. Always crying every night. All alone she took the stand. I know wherever you are. It's gonna be alright. You are cold. She said, my baby, it's gonna be alright. I cried, mama, mama, it's gonna be alright. She said, my baby. Mother, why don't we go back to father's village? No one can help. We've been sleeping here in the cold for three weeks. My child, I shall go. I mean, my child, look, my brother is cold. My heart is broken. My scars are open. Okay. When I hear mama crying every night. She's drowning in pain and sorrows, but she's trying to hide it all from me. But I can clearly see. Cause all she gets is pain and sorrows, always crying every night. All alone she took the stand, and this is breaking me. All she gets is pain and what? What is it? And this is breaking me. I cried, Mama, Mama, it's gonna be alright. She said, My baby, it's gonna be alright. I cried, Mama. There's this man in the neighboring village who has proposed marriage to you. As a matter of fact, he has paid your bride price. And he paid handsomely. I know you like him. Because your father likes him. Do you have any problem with that? Um, I... Oh, shut up! You don't have any problem. Because your father does not have any problem. So you go inside there, pack your things. Let me take you to your husband. Take it to your better husband. Your father is making good plans for you, and you here making face like, 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 like a frustrated monkey. Ah. Mm -hmm. 
again. You take it to your husband so you start enjoying him again. Let's go. Let's go now. She's going. This man, one day you will meet the wrath of God and God must punish you. Eh? You, you, you are the one that will be punished. You think I did not hear you? You are the one that will be punished, you and your ancestors. What are you still doing here? Is it not time for you to leave us in peace just like Michilo did? Is it not time? Eh? Your baby is dead. What are you still doing in this house? Or do you want to go in your corpse? Hey, 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 hey. Don't even think about it, okay? See, we have a long journey and we don't have time. I need to take you to your husband's house and come back to my own village. Okay? Keep moving. Father. What trunk have I ever done to you? My heart is broken. I'm your child. My your flesh and blood. When I am mama crying, you think I'm joking, right? You think I'm joking? She's drowning in pain and sorrow. <laughs> but she's trying to hide it. Get up, get up. In law. In law, in law. In law. In law, in law. <laughs> my in law, my in law. Finally, your bride is here. <laughs> I brought you your wife. Why? Is she ill? Ill? What? No! She's very, very healthy. Very, very well. In fact, why she's shivering is because she has not been married before. That's why you see her like this. You know, when you're doing something for the first time, you know, fear of unknown, all those things, you know, things that could happen inside, you know. <laughs> all those nights when the weather is very cold. <laughs> she a virgin. Ha! Test and see that the Lord is good. Just take her inside. By the time you come out, you confess Jesus is Lord. Just take her. In fact, what I expect to do now is to go in and bring cola and bring drinks, you know, push me. Just start enjoying ourselves. <laughs> it's okay. I am coming. All right. In law, in law. <laughs> I know you're prepared. I trust you. I'm okay. Father, yeah? What? I... Oh, shut up your mouth. I, I what? What's your problem? When you start enjoying him now, will I be there? Ah, leave the way he's walking. Though. Just forget about this, this movement and all that. <laughs> this man. Hey, 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 enter inside. I know why all his wives are running away. <laughs> I have never been with any woman for a very long time now. I want to be with you this night. Hmm? Please, sir, have mercy on me. I'm just a small girl that knows nothing about marriage, not even about a man. Please, Grandfather, have mercy on me. Don't worry. Don't worry about any, anything. You'll be fine. See, I am rich. Most important thing is that I will take good care of you. Hmm? Let's go inside. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. It was the dirtiest day of my life. All I could do was shout my mother's name in my heart. 
I hated myself right from that day. I know I committed adultery, my husband, but please find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm so sorry. And I'm so ashamed of myself and my actions. My husband, I have not cooked for you for a month now. You have refused to eat my food. My husband, I swear, I've missed you so much. I will forgive you only on one condition. Anything for you, my husband. You see, I want to marry another woman to cover up for the space of Michelo. As a matter of fact, I have already paid her bride price and she's coming tomorrow to live with us. Do you have any problem with that? Anything for you, my husband. Mm. Okay. husband as long as we have good blood together then everything is fine now I can do anything for you younger <laughs> thank god ah, you're yeah. welcome thank you <laughs> who is that uh, beautiful young girl working so hard over there oh. <laughs> she's my new wife oh. isn't she beautiful <laughs> i'm coming <laughs> Your food is ready. Go and eat. I'm not hungry, my love. Please, my elder sister, visit her from their village.
little by little. I started getting used to him because he was too kind to me. He was way too kind to me. A very good cook. I'm sure your mother must be very proud of you. Meet my wonderful family. Uh, this is Victoria. Victoria is my fourth wife. I want all of you to welcome her as a member of our family. You're welcome, eh, Victoria. Thank you. My name is Jane. I am the first wife of Henry Mwene. Oh, mm. interesting. Nice to meet you, my co-wife, Jane. Mm. <laughs> Welcome. You are highly welcome, mom. Thank you very much, my son. You're welcome, mom. Thank you. Uh, very let much. me help you. With oh, that's fine. that's fine. That's fine. That's <laughs> fine. How much is that, You're mom? welcome, eh? Please come in, eh? <laughs> Thank you so much, son. <laughs> You're welcome, mom. <laughs> Tonight is your night. You have me. <laughs> I know, I know. We'll get ready. <laughs> She's drowning in pain and sorrows, but she's trying to hide it all from me. But I can clearly see. Cause all she gets is pain and sorrows. Always crying every night. All alone, she took the stand. And this is breaking me. All she gets is pain and sorrows. Always crying every night. All alone, she took the stand. And this is breaking me. Mom, when are we going to read this journey? It's taking forever, Mom. I want to go back to my daddy's village. My child, don't be tired. But I'm tired. Come, let's go. We'll be home soon. Thank you.
My son. He's dead. He's dead again. Come, let's go. My husband, I prepared a very delicious meal for you. <laughs> good, good. My husband, I prepared food for you first. Mm? So allow her to take that one to the dogs. My husband, please don't mind the rubbish that is coming out from her mouth. I prepared a very delicious meal for you. You will love it. <laughs> Prepare food for him first. Give me respect. Respect what? Respect who? Dreamer. Jane, listen to me. My husband has seen my food first. Please let him eat mine. He can eat yours later. Eh. What? Stop! 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 What is all this? What is all this? Eh? Can't you grow up? Can't you grow up? What's your problem? She got the food first. Ask her. Hey! Hi! Oh! Hey! Henry! You're just a fool! You're just a big fool, Henry! Big one! She called you a fool! Jane called you a fool! Hey! Eat her food, let me see! Eat it, try it! You don't have common sense! Oh, but who do you see? You don't have sense! Eat it, can't you? My husband. My husband. You don't say anything.
Das came on my mind. Uh, who were you talking to this afternoon? Who else? Apart from your useless niece, Mitchell. Stupid mama. I'm sorry. It's just that my, my mother's name is Osumichilo. I don't know where she is. Each, each time I think about it, I get so drained. What happened? Where is even Ichilo? She came to my house with all her kids. I drove her away. And I, I saw her here again. Ah! Yes. My mother, uh, did you see her? Did you know where she is? Will you get into the house? That <laughs> mother, my daughter. <laughs> Sit down. Let her be. Enjoy your meal. She will tell you what's bothering her. Enjoy your food now. She's drowning pain and sorrows, but she's trying to hide it all from me. But I can clearly see. Cause all she gets is pain and sorrows. Always crying every night. All alone she took the stand. And this is breaking me. All she gets is pain and sorrows. Where are you? Every night, all alone, Please come and take me, stand. mother. And this is breaking me. <laughs> I cried, Mama, Mama, <laughs> it's gonna be alright. Right. She said, My baby, it's gonna be alright. Right. I cried, Mama, Mama, it's gonna be alright. Right. <laughs> she said, My baby. It's gonna be alright. Don't cry no more. It's gonna be alright. I won't cry no more. It's gonna be Sorry, but I won't wait for you to find me a man. Henry loves me, and that's what is important. Mitchell, that man is married, and he already has a son. Why would you want to involve yourself with a, a, a polygamous family? Why? What has come over you? What is your problem? I know, but I still love him. Hey. And I'm also pregnant, mother. You are pregnant, eh? No problem. You have disappointed me. You have disappointed me, Michelle. Anyway, you are pregnant for him. Carry your pregnancy. Go to his house. Go and live with him as, as his wife. Eh? But let me not ever see your two left legs in this house again. If you leave this place now, don't you ever come back. Just leave. Don't come back here with your two left legs. Let the world hear my voice. Don't come back here. Carry your stupid pregnancy to him. 
What kind of foolish girl is this? Never forgive me, Cello, for all the misfortune she brought on me. Never. What are you trying to do? <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing? J eh? Just stop it. Eh? Just stop it. Bring but that thing you. down. But I told you. Okay. Bring I that told thing you, down. you cannot have him. You cannot take away my husband's love. It's not a problem. You Carry him. Take, his take his Henry. Baby. I don't want him anymore. Just take him. You cannot. Victoria, bring that thing down. That thing is harmful. Bring it you down. You cannot take my husband's love away from me. I told you. Give me me see quaka quaka quaka. Huh? Eh? Eh? You go and meet God. Yeah. Go and meet them. They're waiting for you, eh? Huh? Everything is meaningless if you cannot be with me alone. To think I abandoned a man that loved me so much because of you. Because I loved you and you meant the world to me. But no! You were not satisfied with what you had. Instead, you wanted everything and scarce. You wanted to get married to every woman that you felt was more beautiful than me. You can't run away from me, my love. My everlasting love. I will send you to the devil's orphanage where you belong, you bastard. Please, please my love, please. I'm begging you. Eh, please. See. I will send away everybody. I will I will divorce all my wives and stay with you and you alone. Please now. You know I love you. <laughs> you know, I know what you like. Once we get inside the room now, we'll start everything. You know how we do it. It is too late, Harry. Hey. Too late for all that joke. Joking? I'm serious. As a matter of fact, I already sent Victoria to heaven. Hi. Where they are waiting to receive her. And as for you, I am sending you to the devil's orphanage. Hey! Where they are waiting to receive you as well. I have the mind to do that. I'm your love of your husband. Please, just forgive me. 
Now it will not happen again. I've already told you. I will send everybody away. And I will stay with just you alone. Please, please.
broken, my scars are open. When I hear mama crying every night, she's drowning in pain and sorrows, but she's trying to hide it all from me. But I can clearly see. So she gets pain and sorrows, always crying every night, all alone she too can stand. What next? And what next? Mother, leave oh, me alone. You, you, you wouldn't see my <laughs> grandchild is dead. Every night, <laughs> you killed my baby. <laughs> you killed my baby. I just want to die. Die! What are you waiting for? Die! <laughs> Shut up! Shut up your mouth! 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 gonna be Yes. Uncle Bella died and was buried on his birthday. It was hard for Grandmother Lulu to cope with her brother's loss. I also felt sad. But life continues. My only desire was to go back to school so I can become something in life. It was not my fault. I caused it. And I had it. I'm so sorry. It's my brother for you. I promise to make up with your family. I promise to make this. Because of this, I, I will not fail you. I will make this. I will reconcile with everybody. I'm so sorry. I cannot cry for you at all. I can't cry for you at all. Forgive me. Please forgive me. It 
on my phone. <sighs> My children, please, I'm very sorry for all I did to you because of your mother's disobedience. But all that are in the past now. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I want us to live together now in peace as a family. Because this is what I promised my late brother. Please forgive me. Oh, forgive me. It's okay, mother. I'm also sorry for disobeying you. At least I'm happy now. We can live again as one family. So you finally meet your family again? Yes, we all live happily for the first time. I just wish my younger brother Mambo was still around so we could walk to school every day. As for my father, I heard he was killed by his wife Jane. Too bad for him. But life goes on because in life we learn every day and life is a journey of many miles. <laughs> <laughs> 